I played for, I don't know, six coaches, six or seven coaches. I guess maybe five, maybe five because I had Stan twice. But um, on Brian Hill, six, let's call it six coaches, six head coaches. Common question I get and a common question I ask other players is, is he a good coach? You played for so-and-so. Yep. Is he a good coach? Right, right. You know? And I've been thinking a lot about this lately, like what actually makes a good coach in the NBA? Because, first of all, so much of it is situation. Uh, you know, do you have the talent? Are you in a rebuilding situation? Yes. Yes. Are you going for a win? Yes. I mean, Dwayne Casey got coach of the year yes. and, and was fired, I think, uh, 12 months later, 18 months later, whatever it was. Um, what makes a good coach? It's such a subjective. Yeah, it, it is. And I, mean, I think I think it's I answer it the same way when people I don't know if it's related, but people ask me, you know, like, what's your what's your coaching philosophy? You know, I mean, it's a big question. Right. But for me, I always try to I just try to say a couple things. I mean, one is you've got to instill that you're playing to win the game. Right. I know that sounds really simple, and, but but that is um, a how we're judged um, that's why they keep score, you know, all those simple little things. And right under that though, I always say one a is, can we increase each player's value in the marketplace? Right? Like, like, and number one always helps that, you know, the, the guys that make the all-star team are always from the winning teams, right? The guys that win the end of the year awards are always from the winning teams. MVPs come, you know, those things are really closely related. I mean, um, I think it's one of the things I love about here. Like Masai rewards winning, right? If you're, if you're winning, he's going to reward you on the co- and and those things are. So that's like, I'm not afraid to like say that and talk to that about the players a lot, right? A lot about how are we getting you uh, to to another place and a better contract and a longer contract or or from the 13th to ninth man, ninth man to sixth man. You know what is it we can do? Um, and and we spend a lot of time trying to get them better, you know, and, and what's getting them better. Well, we got to develop them. We got to work with them. We got to do the shooting. We got to, we are not afraid to, to tinker with their shot right when they get here. We're not afraid to put in the time. We're not this and that, but we're also not afraid to what we do is teach them that winning, you know, we got to coach winning, you know, the film sessions one-on-one are about these are winning basketball plays, right? So that's it for me, man. That's what makes a good coach. I mean, there's a zillion other things. Can you can you sub good? Can you time out good? Can you draw up plays good? You know, you got to bail them out sometimes. Can you can you get on them a little bit when they need it? And can you put your arm around them when they need that too? I guess there's all kinds of stuff going on. So I, I guess to follow up on that, we talk about this. We've talked about it with Damar and with Fred when they came on before. And we talk about this with the heat a lot. We sort of joke about like the heat culture or whatever, but the culture around these winning organizations who the players sometimes shift in and out, but the teams sort of continue the level of success. How long do you think it takes to really build something like that? To build that in an organization where you can feel like no matter what the moving parts are, there's a, there's a culture that's sort of sustainable that can be kind of, uh, you know, plug and play. Well, it's a it's a, it's very tough in this league, right? To just say we're going to win all the time, right? No matter what happens to us, we're going to win all the time, yeah. and our culture is going to make sure that that happens, right? That's that's very difficult. But I, but I, you know, I believe that. Uh, you asked me how long does it take? Listen, there's 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 steps. I believe you know that you got to take on a daily basis if you want your team to be able to guard. And when you're young, it's going to take a rookie at least a full year to absolutely even figure out how to play defense in this league. Like, give them a year, and then the next year maybe they can start figuring it out on a consistent basis, right? Even as talented and as long and as athletic and as whatever they can be to have all the tools to be good, great defensively, these other guys are trying to stop are awesome. And the things that coaches are doing – are, are, are hard to stop and all those kind of things. So that's where it starts for me. So if you got a young team, it's going to take you a couple years to get that defensive mentality ingrained. Um, I don't know. You can go from there. 